In the vast expanse of the universe, few enigmas captivate our curiosity quite like black holes. These celestial objects, with their mind-bending gravitational forces and ability to warp space-time, have long been the subject of fascination and intrigue. At the forefront of understanding these cosmic wonders stands J. Robert Oppenheimer. Welcome back to our channel, where we embark on exciting journeys through the vast expanse of space. Today, we're diving deep into a groundbreaking revelation that has done by the J. Robert Oppenheimer about black holes and their origins. We explore the astonishing insights that have redefined our perception of black holes. Before we start, let's revisit what we currently understand about black holes. According to the conventional Schwarzschild model, when a massive star exhausts its nuclear fuel, it undergoes a gravitational collapse, forming an infinitely dense point known as a singularity, surrounded by an event horizon beyond which nothing can escape. J. Robert Oppenheimer's contributions to the Manhattan Project, the U.S. government's covert wartime nuclear bomb development program, are well remembered in history. As the scientific director of the project, Oppenheimer assembled a team of brilliant scientists, engineers, and researchers. His leadership, coupled with his visionary insight, accelerated the development of the bomb, eventually leading to the successful detonation of the first atomic bomb in July 1945. The bombs dropped on Japan at the close of World War II were the ultimate result of that project and they also brought about the Atomic Age, the Cold War, and an endless stream of post-apocalyptic fiction. While the success of the Manhattan Project solidified Oppenheimer's status as a scientific luminary, it also cast a shadow over his legacy due to the weapon's devastating potential. The moral and ethical questions surrounding the use of such destructive power haunted Oppenheimer and he famously quoted the Bhagavad Gita upon witnessing the first test explosion. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. This introspection demonstrated his awareness of the immense responsibility that scientific progress entails. But Oppenheimer's earlier research on black holes, a force much more potent than nuclear bombs, has been completely overshadowed by the Manhattan Project. J. Robert Oppenheimer was one of many scientists studying the implications of nuclear physics. During the gravitational collapse of the most massive stars in the universe, before he was named the leader of the Manhattan Project, Oppenheimer was a member of the first team to ever calculate the maximum mass that an individual atomic nucleus, or what we now refer to as the core of a neutron star, could have before completely collapsing into what he called a dark star, or in today's terms, a black hole. This work was published in a series of papers in the late 1930s. Oppenheimer and his collaborator Hartland Snyder put up a groundbreaking theory in 1939 that directly challenged the basis of black hole theory. The Oppenheimer discovery suggests that instead of a singularity, a massive object known as a black hole star could exist within the event horizon. The implications of the Oppenheimer discovery are as mind-bending as they are profound. This theory suggests that within the heart of a black hole, light could still exist, and a cosmos within could be bustling with activity, redefining our understanding of what happens beyond the event horizon. Naturally, such a radical concept faced skepticism within the scientific community. It wasn't until technological advancements allowed for more precise observations of black holes that the theory gained traction. Modern observations using cutting-edge telescopes and gravitational wave detectors have revealed phenomena that align with the predictions. Even though X-ray and other observations would keep pointing to black holes, it wasn't until 2019 that we were able to see the event horizon of a black hole for the first time. Thanks to the Event Horizon Telescope collaboration, this image was of the supermassive black hole at the center of the Messier 87 galaxy. 
The Event Horizon Telescope Project's next step is to switch from still photographs to videos in order to acquire a more dynamic view of how matter spirals towards supermassive black holes and search for hints that could reveal what is situated beyond the event horizon. How Einstein's theory of gravity and quantum mechanics, the laws governing the other forces of the world, fit together could be resolved, which is the largest puzzle in physics. Oppenheimer's discovery about black holes has a significant impact on cosmology that extends beyond the study of black holes. It makes us reevaluate the complex relationships between galaxies, black holes, and the underlying processes that create the cosmos. As the cosmic puzzle pieces fall into place, the Oppenheimer discovery serves as a reminder that the universe is far from being fully understood. With each new discovery, we are propelled further along the path of exploration, motivated by the tantalizing prospect of unraveling the cosmos' deepest secrets. Oppenheimer's contributions to the development of the atomic bomb should not, however, be the only things we recall about him when we do so. Instead, it might be considered that his greatest contribution to science was the development of a way for mathematically comprehending the upper mass limit that distinguishes the boundary between a neutron star and a black hole. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating space-related content. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.